this video is being done because um, we have waited patiently to see what would come of the article that was published where somebody actually discovered that Vin was two-timing on the whore and they published about the fact that he was cheating on his whore. That went up on the internet and in magazines, or well, a magazine, in May of this year. We're in August now. Vin's not said a word about it. Vin's not sued them. Vin's not complained about it. In fact, he's gone the usual routine that he does with me. Silent. So, those with half an IQ point should understand that what I've been saying is true, which is why he's never sued me, never argued with me, never fought, never called me names or anything else. There have been others who've said things about him, and I've seen for a fact that when um, they lie, he does his little huckabookies in public. He hasn't done a huckabookie about what I've said. He hasn't done a huckabookie about this magazine article that's also on Facebook. He hasn't complained about it. He hasn't sued them. He hasn't done nothing. So that, hopefully, will give all the little fans who watch this and call me names and say this, this that, and the other about me a fucking clue that, yes, what Martine has been saying is true. Vin, as in Mark, has done nothing but lie and cheat her for 15 years. And he has cheated on his hoe. And it's been documented because somebody squealed. Well, news for you people, he's been doing that for a very long time. Before, during, and after her, why do you think I don't like her? Because he cheated on her when he was with me. He claimed he loved me. He claimed he was going to marry me, except he never turned up to marry me. And they go, oh, but he must have loved you. I says, no, money was more important to him than his so-called love. His all love, one love. <laughs> his love is money. That's it, pure and simple. At the end of the day, it's what comes out of the, the pingers. How much money do I get? How much money can I make? Because that's how he looks at everybody. We're all dollar signs to him. Even his kids are dollar signs. Latest case in point, the latest brat. She's nothing but a dollar sign. Think I'm joking? Take a good look at how he's hyped her for all the stuff to do with the new Fast 7 because he can't hype other things. Yeah. Normally they have a little catch that they do for them. Take a good look at all the Fast and the Furious from Fast and Furious 4 to now. There's always some catch. In 4 it was Latinos and trying to get them interested because they're in that side of things. Then we had the other little catches here and there. And every country that we go to to film at, we're, we're trying to get the, that audience to buy from us. That's where we have our premiere. That's where we hype on it. Along with the catchphrase of family. And if you don't think I'm saying anything that's true, go back and use your own eyes, your own ears, and your own brain and have a look. All Vin does is use everybody. He's done nothing but use me. Lie to me, cheat me. He's used his whore. That's why he's got brats. Because that's the only reason he wants his whore. His brats. Because she was a fag hag. She was cover for the fact that him and Paul had their relationship. A couple of people going, Oh, you're defaming a dead man. No, I'm not. I'm telling the fucking truth about a guy who lied to me personally for 10 years. That was screwing around, insulting the fuck out of me when I used to catch Vin out and do certain things, and I'd say about it, and then Paul would stick his oar in as one of his IDs that he's borrowed, doing the same thing Vin does with the fake IDs, and then telling me, oh, I shouldn't do this, that, and the other. I've noticed that the IDs that I u that were used at that time period to call me names, that um, the catchphrase, loser, upset, which was Paul Walker, because none of those IDs have been back, not since he went up in flames, and he deserved to go up in flames. I use the um, catchphrase that Vin doesn't like, at least twice, and he goes off his little mana, which is the word fat, because let's face it people, if you get a view of him when he's not posing for the camera, and he's not trying to hide it wearing dark shirts, his gut is getting fatter, his ass is getting fatter, and doing those exercises with raising his arms up and down, that ain't getting rid of that gut, that ain't getting rid of that fat ass either. And why is he getting fat? Not because his horse cooking. He spends most of his time at Tyrese's restaurant. A couple of people thought I was joking about that. And then they had a look at some of the videos and some of the photos that are coming up. That boy ain't cooking for himself. That whore ain't cooking for him either. 
He spends most of his time at Tyrese's restaurant eating. And why is he eating? Because he knows he can sit there and he's going to end up looking like Marlon Brando, being extremely overweight. And then if we're really, really lucky, he'll eat, end up looking like the character out of Dune, which is the Baron Harkonnen. And he'll die like the Baron Harkonnen if we're lucky too. But in the meantime, beware. If he says he loves you and he's caring for, or he cares for you, he's lying to you. He's lying to everybody. And if he tries to make out that he's not lying, he's using you then. Same as he uses his assistants. And that, by the way, is also who has been one of the other IDs. Um, somebody showed me some information, and it looks like the newest assistant, which is Tiffany, um, is the other one of one of the IDs. I couldn't pick out who it was. And now I know, because something that was said and done that I got showed, um, showed who she was to me. And somebody else came up with another piece for somebody else who had been talking about different things of this, this, and this. And they showed me the article with the discussion with that person. And I'm like, oh, now I know who those IDs belong to. And speaking of IDs, since I let the kid out of bag um, recently to one of the ladies I've been talking to on and off, who originally was one of those who was yelling at me and calling me names, who's since figured out that I'm not lying and I'm not joking, and I'm not being stupid or a troll, um, I found one of my books... Now, those who actually know me know that before I got sucked into the vortex of Vin, I used to run a um, series of website and message boards and stuff for the actor, well, fans for the actor Leif Garrett. I used to have people who used to harass me on that. I used to call them gits. And um, I used to, as a, hot, as a habit, I would ping them. You know, most people who know technical terms know what pinging is. But I also had programs that I still had access to that I had stored in other places. And um, they allowed me to trace back and get IP numbers. And get servers and etc. And um, I put a whole bunch of that information, which was the live stuff. Which is, as I started talking to Suzanne and stuff, was getting involved with at the same time. And I put it all into my lovely little log. In fact, I still had my lovely little log until 2005, which I did not tell anybody about. And I had every IP number, every ID, everything, all stashed away in there. And I gave it to a friend to look after. And of course, I lost touch with a friend who moved house a few times. But in the last couple of months, I found them again. Haven't seen them for a long time, as I said. And they're like, oh, I have something for you. And not only do they have the logs, they have those missing photographs I was talking about. And a few people out there know what I'm talking about with those particular photographs. Along with a few videos. And that's those ones that were um, the, you know, see in my face, I hide in the dark with those sunglasses that had the white framing on them that should jog a memory if it doesn't um, perhaps I should pull the video up eventually and put it up and that's the one with the clothes on <laughs> yes that's the one with the clothes on you know you're, there are some of you are wondering right what she's talking about what she's talking about um others are like Ooh. well you have an idea what I'm talking about now some of the ones with the clothes not on belong to Paul Walker and on that note Stop, think about it, and let's see what happens next.